Alright, so um, so at Windsor.ai we help help companies connect all their marketing data and uh, and also visualize the, the marketing ROI for all the all the involved uh, marketing touch points with advanced attribution modeling and uh, and market mix modeling. Um, our users they can go here to our onboard form and here they can select all the marketing data sources they have also some some organic data twitter organic facebook organic linkedin organic and so on and they can add the different um, uh, data sources here and then it's easy for them to just click sign in with Google and then they can add and select the different accounts and data sources that they want to add and use them in, in any tool they, they want to use the data in. And we have all, all widely used uh, marketing platforms and also e-commerce platforms like Amazon, Seller Central, Amazon Advertising, Shopify, Salesforce, HubSpot, and so on. And uh, yeah, so once a user has connected the data sources he wants to connect, then he can go over here to to preview and destination. And here he can preview the data to see that the data looks good as it should. And he can play with the fields a little bit, add fields, remove fields, just to see that everything is okay. Then he can, as default, he will get all his data sources as blended data to simplify it for the user. But then he can also select an individual data source and uh, and get that data only. And uh, then he can select here where he wants to use the data. So Looker Studio or Google Data Studio is the most popular tool at the moment, but Power BI also quite popular and um, and also these data warehouses snowflake uh, microsoft azure google bigquery and so on and then we have a few built-in tools and templates also uh, so there is these templates i think here is one example of this so this is an e-commerce company they've connected all their marketing data sources they have google Idealo, Billigard.d, Bing, Affiliates. So we all the spend for those channels. And then there is the attributed revenue, multi-touch attributed revenue. And then the multi-touch attributed ROAS. Uh, so also if a channel or a touch point is here in the middle of the customer journey, then our attribution model will give credit to this touch point. Uh, we use the Marco model for the attribution. And um, and and then, then the users have quite advanced transformation possibilities here. So you can click here, explore data, and then you can change the channel grouping. And um, and so on. There's quite advanced data transformation possibilities here. So that, for example, when medium is uh, organic, then general group is SEO and so forth. So, and users can change these things themselves. All right. And then there's also this uh, budget optimizer that is based on market mix modeling. So it does not need so granular impression data. And here you can see the actual revenue versus the predicted revenue. And uh, here you have the share of spend versus share of effect and the total ROI. And here also you would want to allocate as much revenue or spend to the high ROI channels. Mm. But of course it's... Um, it is... Um, it's not so easy because uh, like when you start to increase the spend on a channel then the return on investment starts to decrease so here you then have the return curves also as they have been modeled and here you have the decay rates of the 
spend and uh, and then here you have the budget optimizer so if the customer would allocate the budgets or optimize the budgets like this then they would get a 27 percent increase in ROI and here you see the lighter blue is the um, initial budget and the darker blue is the optimized budget and here you can then adjust it so this is how much the budget is allowed to change from the previous value okay yeah so this makes it this makes it easy to to connect and use all your all your marketing data and and e-commerce data in in any tool you like